So I want to get this off my chest because one, I do have a cousin that lives in Dallas, Texas, and I'm sure he got affected by what's been going on. Hopefully not as bad as other parts of Texas, which I'm glad they are starting to get back on their feet about. But I just have to get this off my chest. And that is, what is this Texas state government thinking? I mean, honestly, every other state around them, including freaking Hawaii, is prepared for all elements of weather. Why isn't Texas? Why didn't Texas have a backup plan in case something like this happened? I mean, seriously. It takes, I mean, I, I, mean, I get it. It takes, you know, several situations that you don't think is going to happen to occur before your state or local government decides to take action and be like, oh, maybe we should be ready for that. You know, and, and again, it makes you wonder what was the state of Texas, the government, and the lo you know, statewide and locally thinking by not having something set and ready. I mean, look, it doesn't matter if your state is known for being, you know, you know, a vacation spot during spring break or summer break. Hey, can you know for great warm summer weather and, you know, and all that and all the beautiful surroundings that people can tour and visit during vacations during these seasons of spring and summer. It doesn't matter. You should always be ready for the unprecedented. You should always be ready for the unpredictable. I mean, I'll give you an example. When I lived in Kansas back in the 90s up until the late 2000s, or mid-90s to late 2000s, we always were associated winter, snow and everything with like November, you know, December and January and February and early parts of March, and that was it. And most times it would go that it would go in that kind of pattern. That basically around the mid late portions of November we start seeing little flurries here and there. Come December, November, no, no, December, January, February, and even, you know, and even March, we would end up basically getting a lot more snow. We wouldn't just get flurries; we'd get inches and feet of snow. You know, we would have roads ice over and stuff like that. Schools would close down. So we would never associate snow with the middle of October, basically the middle portion of fall. But yet, one day in 1996, my junior year at Oskaloosa High School, that ended up happening. I mean, we ended up getting indications that, oh, we're going to get probably little flurries here and there and then a little bit of rain and then that's it, right? No, instead we got a whole freaking winter storm that came out of nowhere, a winter apocalypse, as they call it, or a snow apocalypse, if you will, that came out of nowhere. And on top of that, we had a kid that basically brought in mercury into the school and caused the school to be shut down for about, about two weeks. We had the, what was it? We had to have the EDA or whatever they're called. Oh, come in there and clean it out and check it out. Make sure everything was cool and ready to, you know, and ready to be reopened for students. So on top of the fact that we had so on top of the fact that we had this unprecedented snowstorm in the middle of October, we had that. And a lot of students and teachers, including me, had to get checked out to make sure we weren't infected. Now, what that did with the state of Kansas, especially in the northeast part, is it made us realize, hey, we need to be ready for the winter weather, you know, even in the fall. We need to be ready for it. You know, not just in the fall, but early portion of the spring, we need to be ready for it. Because it's not just going to go away like that. So we learned a lesson there. Here in California, it takes several big earthquakes all around the regions in, what, 20, 10 years, in 20, 30 years, or whatever the case may be, for our freaking state government and local governments to be like, okay, yeah, maybe we should have something ready for, for earthquakes, maybe an alert system or something. And, it also, and, then, and then you want to have something associated in connection with what's going on in Texas, kind of? California never thought they'd get tornadoes. We finally get tornadoes in the past, what, 10, 15 years, appearing all over the place, you know, in certain regions. And now all of a sudden the state and local government goes like, hey, you know, maybe we need to put a tornado warning in whistles and all that around these counties just in case. You see what I'm saying? It takes mo certain moments, you know, multiple times, you know, unusual weather activity for you know, lo local and state governments to finally realize, oops, maybe we need to do something. Maybe we do need to be prepared for everything. And you know what? The thing is, it shouldn't take multiple times. It should take just once. Because if it can happen once, it can happen again. 
and the state of Texas, their local and state government, those people need to learn, hopefully by now, that you can't expect to be the exception. You cannot no longer believe you'll be the exception to this kind of weather because guess what? If it happens now, it'll happen again. So what you need to do, ooh, as a local and state government in Texas, in the surrounding areas, surrounding states, is start preparing for all kinds of weather. All kinds of weather. You know, yeah, because here's the thing, most of the time you will be just known as a state for your hot and summer, spring, summer like weather, whatever the case may be, even in the fall. But now after this, yeah, you need to be ready for all kinds of weather. You're not the exception anymore. And you people in Texas, you know this. You know this, and this is why a lot of you are pissed at your local and state government and come next year are going to vote out the people you feel were truly responsible for what happened out of the positions of power, Senate-wise, government, Senate-wise, state Senate-wise, you know, national Senate-wise, U.S. Senate-wise, if you will. You're going to vote them out of office and put people in there that you believe are going to take responsibility and be like, okay, what happened last year is not going to happen again because this time we will be prepared. The thing is, the thing is, Texas shouldn't have gone through what they're going through and recovering from right now. They shouldn't have gone through that. They should have been ready. That state government and local government should have been ready and not have to have something like this come out of nowhere and basically bang them upside the head and make them go like, oh, I guess we're not the exception anymore. So if I'm the state and local governments of Texas, get your heads out of your you-know-whats. Get yourselves prepared now for all kinds of weather and don't allow something like this to happen again because you're no longer the exception. I mean, freaking states like Hawaii and Florida prepare, are ready for this kind of weather and, and they were ready for this kind of weather a lot sooner, a lot sooner than you were, way before you were. I mean, if you had any ideas still of trying to supersede yourself from this, from this great nation, this great country, as Alex Hicks said in his channel, Just Alex, that went out the window. Angry Joe Joe Rogers, I think, said something similar. That went out the window. So if I'm the local and state governments of Texas, get your butts out of your, get your heads out of your you-know-whats and, and start and learn from this. Learn from this and take, make a plan of action so that this doesn't happen again. That's what you need to do or else your citizens are going to be voting each and every one of you guys out of office and putting in people they believe are more responsible and more willing to take action and be prepared and make preparations for anything out there. Because I guarantee you there's a lot of people that are now going to go and start basically bulking up on supplies when it comes to winter weather because they're not going to want to go through this ever again. But I just want, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to come on here, get that off my chest. Let me know what your thoughts are, you know, on what's going on in Texas. Who do you think is at fault? I think you would agree it is the state and local governments. Do you think they should have been ready for all kinds of weather, no matter what, you know, the situation, no matter what their exception is or excuse could be? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like, and I will talk to you all later. Be safe. Take care. I am out. Thank you all for watching.